Now to add some custom animation to our text here. For example, I've got the bulleted list titled Revenue Trends, and I'd like the title to appear in with the effect of dissolving or fading in, and then in contrast, maybe the bullets could checkerboard in. In any case, to add custom animation to the text, come up here, click on the Animations tab to the Animations group, and click on Custom Animation. Then over to the right, it opens up the Task Pane for Custom Animation, where we can add the effect. Now before we add the effect, you want to make sure that you have the text selected that you want to apply the effect to by either clicking and dragging to select it or triple clicking, it'll select it as well. Come over here, click on Add Effect, go to Entrance, and then you've got a list here of some defaults or the most popular ones. Click More Effects and we can view a few more. We'll have it dissolve in. When I click on it, because the preview effect is checked while this is open, it gives me a preview of it, which is nice. Click OK. It's numbered 1 because that's the first effect when it comes to animation. So when I add more, they'll be numbered 2, 3, and 4 in the order of operation. First one's first, second one's second, and so on. So I'm going to go ahead and triple click the first bullet, add the effect, entrance. Let's do checkerboard. Now I'm going to apply a checkerboard to the rest of these, but I don't want it to slow me down by, well, in the task pane here, having an auto preview. So we'll uncheck that. Now you have two auto previews. You have the task pane, which means when you add an effect to the entrance and you choose from the defaults, it'll preview it for you. Or if you go to more effects, you can also preview it here when you click on one of the uh, effects here to apply to the text here. So I don't want to preview either one. I don't want it to slow me down because I already know what it looks like. So I'll go ahead and uh, click cancel because I don't want to apply the appear effect to this one. So I need to triple click the next one and apply the checkerboard effect entrance. Well, let's do diamond. Let's get a little crazy here. Let's triple click on that to select it and the fourth effect entrance and we'll do a fly in. So there we go. We've got the first effect. It's going to go first and then after that's done coming in, then the second effect, third effect. In fact, if I can't remember what effects I applied, I can come over here in the task pane and just hover over one of the effects. You see all the greens? That means it's an entrance effect. You also have exiting effects, so once you're done with your text here, you can have them exit gracefully for you. But right now we're focusing on the entrance effect, so again, I can hover over it. It says this one's the fly-in effect, that one's the diamond. You can see that little screen tip below my pointer there, checkerboard, and so on. Okay, now let's do some exiting effects here. So when I'm done with revenue trends, after all these fly in from 1 through 4, let me go ahead and triple-click revenue trends, because that's going to be the first one to exit, because it was the first one to enter, right? All right. Click on Add Effect, go to Exit. Go to more effects and you can, let's do a fade swivel, click OK. And you can see over here it's now red. So everything in green is an entrance effect, everything in red is going to be an exit effect. Now you don't want to get too funky with your effects because when you're given a presentation it's all about substance, not the gee whiz effect. Like look, I, I got this thing spinning 20 gazillion times and it's going to get you dizzy and not focus on the actual revenue trends. So be judicious when you apply these effects probably want to keep a minimal, at least in most presentations. Some presentations, like I guess a car presentation, you may want to add a lot of spinning effects to new cars. Triple click the next one. Let's go ahead and apply an effect to exit. And we'll have descend. Triple click. We'll do descend on the rest of these here because it just seems a little bit easier to focus on that one. This one will actually do fly out. So look what's happening. It's the order of operation. First, Revenue Trends is coming in, and it's also the first to leave. Because even after it's done 1 through 4, it's going to be the first one as far as the exit effects are concerned to leave as well. Notice also that next to it you have the little mouse with the cord going out to the computer. That means you can only execute the effect in the presentation by using your mouse button by clicking. Okay? And the speed's going to be very fast. So let's go ahead and take it for a test drive and click on the Slideshow button. And then I move my mouse here. I click comes in very fast. Click, click. That's the diamond effect and then click again and it flies in from the bottom. Now here's the exiting. So once I'm done making my speech, revenue trends. See what I'm talking about? I mean that's a cool effect but when it comes to the substance of your presentation if everybody's focused on what the gee whiz effect you're doing next it's like movies today I guess. You got all these graphic artists out there that can make cars blow up at 20 gazillion times bigger and badder but if you got no plot or no substance then you know who really cares I suppose and then click to exit that. Hit the escape key and if this helps with it to give a little bit more attention drawn to your presentation great. Don't overdo it. Finally you can do a little bit more customization here. I mean as far as our entrance goes we've got the first is a mouse click for the revenue trends and then the bullets here what we can do is let me click off in a blank area here and I'm going to come over here in the task pane and click and select 
the second bullet, or the second effect, which is the first bullet, hold down the Shift key and click the fourth one, so I've got two through four here. What I want to do is I want to initiate the first click to bring up Revenue Trends when I'm ready. Then after I click on it, I'd like all these to automatically come in without me having to click three times. Of course, in some presentations, you may want to click because you want to spend a minute on each bullet point without bringing up the next. But for me, what I want is to have them automatically come in after the first click. So I'm going to come up here and change it from on click to after previous. So after I click or execute the first one with the click, Revenue Trends, then it'll automatically come in. Okay, it'll fly in here. Now let's see how that looks. I'll go ahead and click on the Slideshow button. After my first click, the others should just pop in for me. Okay, saves me some clicks, which is nice. I'll hit the Escape key. And you can do the same with your exiting effects. So once you execute the click to exit your revenues, then all the others will follow suit. And you do have control over your speed here. You can click on the drop down arrow and do very fast or fast or slow. And keep in mind, these are the custom animation effects. And up here, don't confuse it because these are the transition effects for advancing a slide on a click, going from one slide to the next versus going from one effect to the next, which you can change it here to a click or with the previous animation or after the previous animation. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.